Hi everybody, welcome to a tutorial edition of the Village Camera Nerd, in which I answer the question I got a couple of times on how to use the Mevo Start as a webcam through Zoom. You can do that with a little bit of an issue with Mac. So let's first look at PC where there aren't any issues, okay? So step one is to go to NewTek's website and download NDI tools. I'll give you a link in the description below. And then download for Windows, this is the example that we're giving, the install package, which has everything you need through a single installer, thankfully. So inside is the NDI virtual input, which is what turns your signal from NDI input devices into a webcam. So inside your Mevo app, you have to make sure to go to NDI mode. So go ahead and switch that sucker on. And then make sure that your computer and your Mevo Start are connected on the same Wi-Fi network. Now take a look on the tray over here. You could select the Mevo Start, right click the thing in order to have the camera selections pop up. And then go over to the Mevo P1205 for your Mevo is gonna be named differently. And then go ahead and click it. It's not gonna be selected by default. And once that is done, it is actually gonna be routing the signal from the Mevo Plus through NDI as a webcam, as a selection in Zoom. As you can see there, it is working. So that's me in a fake little Zoom call and waving hi and everything. But let's take a look at uh, how well it performs. Uh, you could actually zoom in and out just like with a standalone Mevo a broadcast. Uh, but uh, one of the problems is that once you start messing around with the image too much, you start to get little issues like this, macro blocking, etc. This is because you're doing things wirelessly and routing it through a plugin. So what you got to do is first turn off NDI mode and then switch to 5.0 megabits per second. That reduces the amount of data that has to be pushed through your Wi-Fi network and which reduce the amount of glitches that can happen. This is no guarantee that they won't. It's gonna be lower quality, but hey, it's a Zoom call. They're, they're not gonna expect it to be like cinematography level, right? And you can see it's much more stable. Uh, if you were to zoom into your image over there, you could see that's a little bit softer. Some people may actually like that. You know, the, the, each each their own. But if you want more stability and you don't have an Ethernet adapter, which you know we're still waiting for for the Mevo Start, this is the way to do it. Now on the Mac, this should work the same, and it did work before as an NDI input in Zoom. But a recent update to Zoom actually broke this, so and we're all waiting for an update to fix it. But first of all, let me show you how to get started on the Mac once they fix that. Okay, so on the Mac, you have to install individual install packages that you download from the N NDI. New Tech website. You see all these little install files. You really only need to install the driver and the virtual input. So, you know, I don't think you need to worry about the other ones. And the NDI control is going to be up on top once the app is open, and then you could select the camera, the Mevo Start, once you're on the same network. But in me, in Zoom, you can see here that it doesn't show up. That is the glitch, the NDI input. So we're all waiting for that update to come around. It's a little frustrating, but it will get there. They say they're working on it. But in OBS, it works perfectly fine. In OBS, add a scene with a video capture device and in the menu, a following menu, you'll be able to select the NDI input, which is awesome. So you know this thing is working on the Mac, just not on Zoom. I like to choose high quality for these sort of things in OBS. You might have to rescale depending on your canvas size. There I am, woo, hey, here I am too, woo. And Ecamm, which I'm gonna be showing next, is actually even easier. Um, it actually shows up without needing the NDI plugin in Ecamm. But usually this will work on most all apps that accept a webcam signal or NDI input. So it is a little bit annoying that it currently does not work with Zoom, but eventually it will. Anyway, I hope that was useful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and be sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I have more tutorials and more live streams. So thank you very much for joining in and I'll see you guys next time.